Dang, look at those calves. Oh yeah, I never showed this drawing before. Oh, oh no, oh that's weird. Ooh, that's wonky looking. Oh, so this was originally going to be an animated series I was gonna be making. A lot of what I draw in my spare time is stuff like this. The last year and a bit has been by far the most productive art year of my life. I was building up Popcraft Studios on the side while working as an animator and illustrator at the Score Esports, so I was spending about 80 hours a week working on drawings, animations, and making videos. I finally let myself relax a little bit more, but the point is you can't work that long on any one thing and not see some kind of significant improvement. And I really think I've gotten a lot better at drawing in the last year. So I thought it'd be kind of interesting to do a tour of all of my drawings in my Popcross Studios folder on my computer. Ew. Oh hey, I can see me in the reflection. The point is we're gonna tour something like a thousand drawings in this video. And I guess sort of spoiler alert for my past videos because a lot of the drawings I'm gonna be showing on here are stuff from past videos. But also there's been a lot of videos where I scrapped the drawings or redrew the drawings. So there's definitely gonna be a bunch of stuff you haven't seen if you've been watching the channel for a long time. A lot of people know this about me already, but this is one of my favorite things I've drawn in the last year. But anyway, let's see what we've got up first. Oh yes. Okay, so we're going back a little bit more than a year ago. This was December 2018. This was actually from the very first time I did a cool stuff as other cool stuff kind of video. I did Overwatch characters as dinosaurs. I like what I did with his shieldy head thing. Good job, past me. This, so this was all around the time when I was turning the channel from an animation channel to an art and drawing channel. So I was experimenting a bunch and this was my Christmas episode. This video actually opened with a really quick animation and it's the video in which I pitched the idea to everyone of doing the monthly redraws, which have been going for a little bit over a year now. Oh, okay, so I don't know if I ever actually showed this one on the channel, but when I did the first Pokemon as Superheroes episode, I drew this first. This was going to be the Charizard drawing, and then I didn't really like it, so I redid it later on with a more Iron Man-y kind of look. Look at that, we're already seeing stuff that I never showed on the channel before. This was the episode that convinced me to start doing cool stuff as other cool stuff regularly, which, you know, eventually got us to the Overwatch Dungeons and Dragons and My Hero Academia Venomized, and basically all my favorite kind of episodes on the channel. Oh, okay, so now we're into the very first Community Redraw episode. This was Ash's submission, and the very first episode I think was Monsters. So I was redrawing subscribers Monsters, and I love this one. I thought it was a really cool idea, devil computer kind of thing. This one was from Flav. I think he was the second person to ever join the Discord, after, obviously, Cohen Calmer. Hey, Cohen and Flav. This was Cohen's submission. One of his, t I think I redrew two of his submissions, but I think I liked how this one turned out better. It's a cool idea, very Cohen feeling. Wow, he's improved a lot in the last year too. If you check out his Instagram, he's got so much cool stuff on there now. I also, I always love the nice on the, on the chainsaw. This was a fun one too. This video did surprisingly well over, you know, a longer period of time, turning Fantastic Four into dragons. And I think a lot of the drawings that I think hold up better of mine from a year ago are non-human drawings, because I really don't like how I drew legs for a long time in the last year before I started focusing on improving that sort of recently. Disney Princess Kaijus. This is one that randomly did super well in the last few months. I think it jumped up from 4,000 to 85,000 or something views. And looking back again, it. I, I like how these ones turned out because I liked my monster drawings better back, you know, about a year ago because a lot of them don't have the anatomy problems that some of my human drawings had. Oh, wow, okay, so these two drawings were both from a series that I'd been planning on making called, like, Character Design Alphabet or something like that, where I was gonna do weird mashups of characters based on whatever letter of the alphabet we were on that week. I kind of liked the idea of that series, but I didn't want to get locked into doing it, and I didn't like so much how either of these turned out. Oh yeah, this was from a really hacked together episode where I was mashing up Pokemon and Digimon.
you know what I was saying? I didn't like my human drawings. I actually do like how this one turned out. Although his, his back leg is kind of obscured a bit. And this one's obscured a bit because of how it's bent. But I basically I was drawing knees way too fat for a while. You'll see what I mean later. Okay, this is Pokemon as superheroes again. I think this was the second episode. I think I like the drawings better from the first episode. There's a transition period over the last year where I was going from much cartoonier to trying to work in a little bit more comic-y style. And there was a bit of a weird growth period where I wasn't quite finding the balance that I wanted of my sort of comic toon style that I have now. I don't mind this one. I just, you know, I don't think it's great. Oh, this was... This was during the designing process for that video I did of my friend Cal's birthday. Oh, this was another drawing I'd scrapped, I think. I never showed it. It was for Pokemon as superheroes, Sword and Shield specifically. I, I think I did redraw her again a little bit Umberto Ramos inspired. But yeah, this one just turned out kind of bland and boring. You know what, one sec. I'm going to change up the background so that we don't see fuzzy juggernaut in the back. Okay, that's better. Now, with this drawing, what's kind of interesting was, you can see on the leg, I did that sort of faded line, not just my cell shading. And I think this was one of the first drawings and videos where I did that. I think it adds a nice contrast between the sharper cell shaded parts and having some smoothed out areas. Oh yeah, I never showed this drawing before. This was from a Fortnite Venomized episode that I was working on a long time ago before I'd ever done a Venomized episode, and I just didn't like how any of them were really turning out, so I scrapped it. Yep, this was this was another one. I think I just did those two. This one, and this one. Oh my god. I don't even remember what this is for. Did I put out this video? Okay, there's probably gonna be a bunch of these in here. This is what my character rigs look like when I'm drawing them before I'm animating them. And this is my favorite character rig, the Rhino from Spider-Man PS4. And this is how I rig up a character for doing on-camera talking and lip-syncing and stuff. Do a bunch of different eye shapes. I don't know why I did the nose separately. I guess so I can move it and make it look like the head is turning a bit. But anyway, then, whole bunch of different mouths. Some happy, some angry, to make sure you can do all the different mouth shapes. Oh, I, did I ever use this? Yes, I, I think I used this T-Rex one back when I was doing mostly animated videos. So these are definitely in the wrong order. Ah, I don't remember the context of why I have this semi-faded background in Geodude. It was probably from when I was rigging up Geodude for my Pokemon side-scroller video, which is the video that kind of convinced me to switch from animated videos because making that video almost drove me insane. I spent well over 100 hours working that week, and then I was having rendering problems that kept me up until two in the morning, and then I woke up at something like five to check on it because I had to go to work the next day, but I also had to set it to upload when I woke up and it had stopped rendering overnight, so I think I ended up only having about three hours of sleep that night after working crazy hours trying to get this thing done, and then I don't think the video ended up doing that well. But regardless, I don't even care that it didn't do well because it's still probably my favorite thing I've ever animated. Oh yes, the Bumblebee rig. Like with the Pokemon animation, I really loved how this transformation turned out. But the problem is it looks so simple in the finished version. It doesn't look like something that would take a long time to make. And here it is, the Spider-Man Multiverse Brawl. I did this immediately after getting really close to burning myself on those two animated videos. Thinking back now, I kind of wish I'd pumped up some of the background elements, made them a little bit bigger, but at least it does mean we're focused on this main set of characters and these guys in the front. Man, I remember loving this at the time, and I still like it enough, but it's so much cartoonier looking than I remember. See, this is another one where I still really like how this turned out because it's a creature, not a person. It's got a nice flow to it, and as I've said, wings do a really nice job framing characters a lot of the time. That was from that video where I got a bunch of bootleg Yu-Gi-Oh cards and tried to make some kind of weird art out of them. Maybe I should try more weird stuff like that. Remember that time I tried sculpting a Charizard head, but using forks and knives? 
Oh man, I was obsessed with Apex Legends when it came out, and I remember drawing this one as the next one, also her. Oh, okay, this is just the inks for some reason, but that was from one of those Draw It Twice videos, like the Hellboy drawing from earlier. Oh, this was from a collab video I did with Marsh Makes Comics. I haven't checked in on his channel in a while, but that was a lot of fun. He does some good stuff, and I know he's still been consistently posting. A, a lot of these drawings are in pieces if they're from animated videos, because I draw the pieces all separately, then rig them up together in After Effects. So, there's a lot of weird stuff like this. Oh look, my Venom Sona! One of the first videos to break 10,000 views on the channel. I, I, I think this was from my old channel trailer for the channel, which I might have made unlisted now because it was a channel trailer for when this channel was going to be animation stuff predominantly, but I think he got smacked from the side by something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Here's my toothpaste Godzilla. Why are you destroying this truck full of toothpaste? <laughs> oh, oh no, oh that's weird, ooh, that's wonky looking. I think this was, I did a round two of trying to draw Super Saiyan superheroes, and the first round actually turned out way better, even though I did it something like three months earlier or something, and I should have improved a bunch in that time. And I think I did, but just this pose, oh, it doesn't work. I used to, for a while I was drawing arms on one side with just one line, inspired by Bruce Timm's Batman designs for the animated series. Doing that kind of smooth line can work well for cartoon drawings because it can add a nice flow to it, but when I was trying to push out of that a bit more, it just, it doesn't work. Oh look, I mean this is the, do I have a more finished version coming up? This is a much better drawing of Thor. Oh okay, actually this was the one drawing from that video that I did like. This was on my YouTube header for a while. It's not one of my favorites nowadays, because I've done a lot better stuff since then, but overall I think the style worked out best for this drawing, more so than some of the others. Oh yeah, this was another video that I never showed. Really rushed it out, and I didn't like how any of the art in it turned out. I think this was a scrapped one too? This was the drawing that made me realize, yeah, I'm scrapping this video, I can't do it, I'm just, it's not coming together at all. This, this file is just called Thanos Pumpkin. I don't remember ever drawing a Thanos Pumpkin, but I guess I drew a Thanos Pumpkin. Oh god. This, I remember this video did decently well at the time, and I'm embarrassed that it did. I just don't like this at all. It was drawing Avengers Endgame characters, and that face is really wrong, that fist is really wrong, Cap doesn't look great, the clouds are so cheap and wonky looking. Just nothing, nothing about this is working for me. Ugh. Ah, the Iron Sona video. I kind of like these rough-ish designing drawings. I haven't done a video like that in a while. Oh no, actually, I guess I have. The Pokemon Jim Sona one was kind of like this, where I did a bit of design work ahead of time. It's a fun idea, I should do something like that again. This drawing was heavily inspired by Derek Laufman. This was from Disney Princesses as Sith Lords. And you can see in probably this and a bunch of other ones, how fat I used to draw knees. This is what I was talking about earlier, where it's kind of just a big long pipe, which can kind of work sometimes, but it doesn't have enough size variety, and that's something that I really like in my art now, and in other people's drawings. Dang, look at those calves. She could kick anyone to death. I don't even know why she needs the lightsaber. Ugh. I don't think the environment turned out so nice on this one. So I think this was just before I stopped doing the really fat knees. I was starting to realize that that was a problem with my art. I think I started making them a little bit skinnier. I still like this drawing in general, and I think I did better here. Ah, look at this, this was all the moderators at the time. We have more now, but did that in the video where Cohen took me on a tour of the Popcrest Community Discord. Ah, oh, Bat Sona. I forgot how many Sonas I've done on this channel before. 
Oh, this was the uh, Spider-Man Batman redraw, the thing that I've drawn three times over the last few years. This was the first version of it. I ended up drawing it again and doing a better job, and I'm definitely gonna draw it again later this year when it comes up to one year after having drawn this one and the previous one. This was from my old book series, Multiverse Tales, and I redrew this one, and my redrawing of that one is one of my favorite drawings I've ever done. In fact, I recently got it printed out. I got nine of my favorite drawings from the last year printed out and put up in my living room. Yeah, so these are all the drawings that I redrew in that Multiverse Tales redraw episode a little while back. I think that video did medium well, but it was a lot of fun for me redrawing these old characters. Uh, okay, so here's a recent example of me doing legs that I don't like. It's still something that I'm actively practicing at getting better still, so I still do not great ones sometimes, but just his stance is too wide. This is a drawing that when I finished it, I was like, this drawing would be so much better if I just cut off the bottom half. Ah, that's better. Oh, this was a drawing I scrapped recently. I didn't even end up finishing it. You know that really short episode I did where I had Senku from Dr. Stone as if he was in My Hero Academia? Well, this was going to be part two of that video. Uh, look at all the Superman. Oh, okay, that, I don't know why there's only three of them here, but I really like that episode, the 10 drawing style challenge where I drew Superman in a bunch of different animated show styles. I wanna take a crack at that again, maybe not even just animated shows, because that was, that was a fun idea. <laughs> I don't know what he's concerned about. He actually has his tail, but that's because I didn't draw him. Discord people will get that reference. Oh, these were the thumbnails for that Spider-Man Juggernaut drawing. I did a bunch, oh, I actually really like this idea too. I actually ended up drawing both of these and I, I, I liked the first one enough and I think it was a more interesting pose. I think I had his leg kicking up a bit more, but I ended up making Juggernaut's back so weird and wonky and ridiculous that I had to redraw it. This is, I think this is alphabetical because these are all S drawings. We got Spider-Man and Iron Man, Spider-Loki from a very recent video, Spider-Froppy, not Spider-Man, but Speedscape drew the original. This was a redraw of one of Speedscape's characters. <laughs> this is, this is the background base design for the Spider-Man Mario video. That was a fun video. I think that's one of the few animated videos that's done really well since. Oh, uh, huh? Uh. Okay. Ah yes, the Spectator Jedi from the D&D Star Wars mashup episode. This drawing was the saving grace of that video. I think I remember not loving a lot of the drawings, and this one, despite being by far the most simple one, was definitely my favorite. Overwatch D&D. This was, I think, the very first drawing I did for Overwatch D&D in the first episode, and at the time, I really liked how it turned out. And this is another one where I like it better when I block out the legs. I like how the top half looks. I think it could have made his face a bit more contrasty, but the legs, the knees again are a bit too fat. I don't think I spent quite as long on this one as the other ones, which is kind of funny because I like it better than some of the other drawings in the first episode. Okay, now this one, his legs are still kind of chunky, but it works better because he's a big character. This was the drawing for Overwatch D&D that made me go, oh wow, I've gotten a lot better in the last year. Overwatch D&D episode two, I thought was a big step up from the first episode, but this was the one that I wasn't happy with. I think largely because the legs are weird, too much of the detail from his legs also gets lost in the cape, which, I'm kind of okay with because I don't like how the legs turned out. But overall, I just, not a huge fan of how I did Reaper, which sucks because Reaper is such an awesome character. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> okay. This was clearly from an old animated video, but I don't remember why I got my booty show in there. No, I, I think some of my favorite ones that we're looking back at are from old animated videos, because I just have sheets full of random looking drawings and people missing eyes because I gotta animate them in later. I think this was from To All the Fandoms I've Loved Before, where I talk about Pokemon, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Beyblade, all the shows that I loved growing up as a kid. Yeah, we got Rip Jaws here from the very first Ben 10 video I ever did, in which I realized that A, I really love drawing Ben 10 characters in my style, and B, people really like it when I draw Ben 10 characters, because that video did quite well, along with every other Ben 10 thing I've done. 
Oh gosh, that's, that's freaky. I think this was for putting your heart and soul into your work or something like that. And I decided the best way to represent that would be to have me ripping my heart out of my chest. Ooh. Oh, hey, I can see me in the reflection. But this was for a Pokemon mashup thing when Detective Pikachu was coming out. I tried to mash up four different Pokemon and ugh, ugh, that's horrifying. I mean, I, I was going for horrifying, I think, so it kind of worked out. But I love these, I love these dangly little legs. Oh, oh, that's freaky. Oh, Metabots! There's this animation I did that's one of my favorite little looping animations I've done where we've got, what's his name, Metabee riding on a Zoid. I really love that animation. Oh yeah, this was from an episode where I was talking about how to develop your art style back when the channel was an animation channel, not a drawing channel specifically. And this was me imitating the animation channel Pantsless Pajamas style. Oh, so this was originally going to be an animated series I was going to be making. If you've seen the old Spider-Man versus Cloud versus Green Lantern video, at the start of that, I have Spider-Man fighting against the Rhino before he gets sucked into another dimension. Originally, that video was going to be, we see these two, this character here was going to be a sort of supervillain, and I was going to have her sending out characters to fight pop culture superheroes. So she would built this sort of Laura Kinney Wolverine kind of robot. And that character was gonna go fight Spider-Man after Spider-Man fought the Rhino. But then last minute I scrapped this opening scene and ended up just making it a weird fight scene between Spider-Man, Green Lantern, and Cloud. Oh, I remember this. After the first Birds of Prey trailer came out, I did a spider sona for Harley Quinn, and I gave her an Iron Man suit, and one other thing. I can't remember what it was. This was from that recent Ghost Rider video. I probably said it in that video, but that's one of my favorite drawings I've done. Although this is it without the background in it. Ooh, I like this one. Have I drawn Godzilla? I might not have drawn Godzilla on this channel before. I gotta get to that. Oh God, I immediately know what that is. It's the creepy werewolf from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban who scared the, mm, just, mm, what can I say here? Really, really, really freaked me out when I was a kid. I hate him. Creepy looking. Those are some big screams we got going on. Hey look, that's my old university. Oh, I remember this. I think this animated character yells, go Dragoon, go Dragoon. As if some dragon was gonna pop out and swat away other kids' plastic tops. These are all really old, my multiverse tails art style with the really fat forearms and hands and fat legs. The reason that it took me a while to get back into drawing good legs. I don't know why these are in this folder. I must have brought them in to use in a video to, you know, flash back to my old style. Jeez, oh, okay, so I just realized I was in the wrong folder. I wasn't in my Popcross Animations folder, which I only noticed because I looked at how many drawings were left and it said there was like 4,000 left. Hence, seeing some of my old drawings from Multiverse Tales. I'm back in the right folder. I don't know how many images we've gone over so far, but I'll just continue on from here. Oh, also, don't know if people know this about me, but one of my favorite hobbies is rock climbing. <laughs> I think this was supposed to represent a Pokemon being a masochist, loving being in a fight or something, but I think we're coming down to mostly drawings that we've already seen. Sorry about messing up the order of that, but I'm gonna quickly 
switch us over to the iPad and look at some of the stuff I've done in the last couple months in Procreate. I think that's a good way to finish this off. Okay, here we go. Now I don't have a ton of stuff in Procreate because I only started using it as my main drawing app about two months ago, around the time that I was doing the, uh, the Justice League characters if they were in the Harry Potter universe. But yeah, so I did those drawings. That's the only time I've done a video in Procreate, but a lot of the stuff in here is this. A lot of what I draw in my spare time is stuff like this. I just do a whole bunch of rough sketches of characters in different dynamic poses, because obviously when I'm doing videos for the actual channel, I have to do finished drawings. So when I'm in my spare time, I just whip out a bunch of different pose ideas. I'm skipping ahead a little bit, I'll go back, but you can see there's just lots of different sheets where I just do tons of these different poses. You can also see there's a lot of unfinished stuff on here. For instance, this is like closer to finished. I was playing around with really simple rendering and it's like I haven't finished the shading on it or anything. I also don't know who this is. It's just kind of a random character. But then I've got lots of rough drawings like this where I was gonna do a super stylized cartoony Venom drawing, never really finished it. I was working on a weird mashup drawing of Rhino versus Princess Mononoke, but it you know, doesn't really look like her at all. A lot of the stuff that I'm doing in my spare time, I don't end up finishing because I do so much finished artwork for my actual work. So when I'm doing stuff in my spare time, I much prefer just doing, as I said, lots of different rough poses, which by the way, randomly, I really like this one. I love how the proportions on this character turned out and I might end up taking this drawing and turning it into something, but I don't know. It's just, all these are just rough kind of fun sketches. This is the kind of stuff I did when I was trying to figure out how to draw legs better. I was watching some tutorials and then just drawing lots and lots of really rough characters inspired by artists I like and looking at how they draw legs and trying to do it better. Then we've got some stuff that I posted on Instagram and wasn't for Popcross Studios like this. I did around Christmas time just for fun, was goofing around a bit with styles. And then this drawing, a bunch of people had been recommending I draw Ash, and just for fun, I decided to draw her with a lightsaber in a semi-Star Wars-y style. Posted this one on Instagram too. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I do post some more experimenty kind of stuff on there, along with just art from the channel. I'll link my Instagram in the description below too. Oh yeah, then this was a character sent in by Jackson over email for two community redraws ago. I'd already finished editing the video. I think it was Boxing Day or something, and the video was done, but Jackson's dad sent in this character, and I was like, ah, I'm just watching a movie with my parents. I'll redraw this character, why not? Didn't end up in the episode, but hey, it's in this episode now. So there you go, Jackson. There's also a couple drawings on here where I was starting to draw League of Legends characters, or I guess this one, I was drawing Vi from League of Legends and didn't really go anywhere with it. I really like the characters in that. Would people be interested in me doing a League of Legends drawing episode? Because I, I don't really play it much, but I love the characters in it. I guess I've drawn Vi before in that video game characters simplified episode, but I'd love to take a crack at her again or any of the other characters. Oh, and then this was a drawing of my friend that I did for his birthday the other day. It's not one of my favorites I've done in a while, but you know, it's kind of fun. I don't love how I did the environment. I think I ended up cropping it before I sent it to him, but uh, yeah, I don't know if he'd want me saying his name in the video, but happy birthday again, man. This one I was liking enough, but didn't really care enough to finish it. But you know what? I think that's pretty much it. Well. Like with my 20 year sketchbook tour video, there is a lot of footage that I gotta go through, but I think it'll be worth it. This was fun to make. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. Get notified when new videos are coming out. The art's only gonna get better from here. If you want a good series to jump in on, I'd say the Overwatch characters in Dungeons and Dragons, the stories and art in that I, I really, really like. It's probably my favorite on the channel, besides maybe My Hero Academia Venomized. But I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff you'll probably like if you liked any of the art in this video. But that's all for today. I'm Christian Pearson. This has been Popcross Studios, home of the nerdiest art videos on YouTube, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.